Hi there, it's John Hosick with Accent Decor, and we're gonna have some fun today with Metalino sticks. And I've learned something new. We always say we learn something new all the time, but they're actually, the Metalino is actually Italian. It's jute for Italian, so they're Italian sticks. When you work with them, they're fabulous. Um, but it's a fantastic product. These are the Metalino. And what I like about them is they're extremely pliable and they allow you to manipulate them around. But what I like to work with them is there's many, many different colors. This is like the darker green, a little bit lighter shade of green. And we have also these wonderful ones with some beads on them, which I think are fantastic. When you work with these little kids, what really allows them to be um, pliable and really man manipulate them around is to get them wet. And I actually soak these just a few minutes prior, but if you just take a vessel of water, and a lot of times they will allow you to just completely put them in a little circle and just soak them in the water, but it really only needs to be for a few minutes. If, if that, it could be just like 30 seconds because the fiber is very porous. It'll absorb all the water really quickly and you get a refreshing little bath when they come out. I'm gonna move the dry ones off here to the side and set this one here and this one here. And you can see they just are a wonderful little texture and these, the beaded ones, same way, don't be afraid to put them in the water. Get them a little bit of moisture so that the pour really absorbs the, the water up. So I'm gonna move this little kit out of my way. And we're gonna work with this great little vase called a bloom vase, and I, these are fantastic. I think a lot of times we try to put a little armature or some fun things into vases, and uh, the design doesn't have to be brain surgery a lot of times. We can really have some fun elements just for some really quick. And this is one of those little techniques which I love. I'm just taking a couple of these, each one of the different pieces together and kind of justifying all their one ends. But I'm actually, see, they're allowing me to manipulate them, just kind of like spiraling around my finger. And what I'm gonna do is allow these little stems to come back. And with that twist all together, you get these really great forms and shapes that start to happen. I mean, look at the rhythm of that, how it just starts to play together. It's creating this great little armature to be able to work our, our floral through. So I'm gonna bind, we talk about principles and elements again, I'm gonna bind that product together. Give it a quick little snip there. So I'm gonna do a couple of these. I'm gonna have this one be maybe a little bit heavier with the beads. A Couple more of these colors, but I just love these colors, how intense they are together. And working with the flat surface of the metalina and in the middle of the flower vase. And if they do that, don't worry about it. Give them another little twist, a little bit tighter. And you kind of just let them pull upon themselves and they create these great little spots again. It's kind of artistic. What I love about it, when people look at them, they're like, oh my goodness, how in the world do they do that? And they try to figure it out and they wouldn't be able to. So one more. Of these for some color. Again, manipulating around the finger, just kind of scooching them back off your finger again so they get all twisted nice together. And not one will really be the same. And if you really wanted to pull some of these sides in, you could actually just allow that little wire to go right through there and hold that in place. Snip my wire off one more time. And I'm going to take off just a few of these inside pieces because. The, the lip of my container is a little bit smaller and I want to make sure I can get my floral elements. But look how quick and easy this dresses this, um, the flower vase up really quickly and it adds a fun design element of rhythm as these start to play together. And obviously they allow you to manipulate them back and forth, which I think is really cool. And just the metalina itself in the container I think is just beautiful on its own right. But if we add just a little bit of floral to it, you're gonna see like, ooh la la, it's fabulous. And again, look how fun that rhythm starts to play there, which I think is absolutely spectacular. I'm gonna take my little wonderful product here. I've got some great little roses. And it really will take very little product to make this just have a little bit of the wow factor. And actually just a couple roses. Look at that red contrast against there. I think that is just spectacular. Add a couple little guys here. Let's add one right over here. And I really don't need a whole, sometime when in doubt, leave out applies even, even better because you don't need a ton of flowers to make it be absolutely fantastic. One more larger rose just for a little bit of oomph. Let's put this little kid right down here. And just so you get this great rhythm and, and fun elements that start to play there. And it really does take very little flowers to make this a really cool design. And if we want to add a little companion piece to this, I did one a little bit earlier. 
um, the little Soho vase. It's a great little rectangular vase with a, and square shapes. And look how those have a fun rhythm. I mean, down a table, this would be so cool. Some candlelight, just really fun. It can be really simple, but it look extremely extravagant and elegant. So thank you again for tuning in. And these are T2s, and thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.